This video will show you how you start the lesson using the eClassroom. Sign in the AccountSoc website, enter your email or your user ID, and your password. After signing in, once a student has booked one of your classes, a notification will be sent directly to your AccountSoc account inbox. In order to approve or reject a request, you need to go to Teaching and Free Trial. Once it's approved and it's already time, you can click Join the class. You can start the class 30 minutes early. And since you're the tutor or host, you will need to open and join the class first. Students are unable to join the class if you haven't joined yet. Choose Join Class. A pop-up will automatically appear on your screen. Just go through it and select Run. It will be redirectly downloaded to your computer. Once you're inside the eClassroom, take note that you need to select Use Mic and Speakers as this is not set on default. In order for the student to hear and speak to you, then this must be selected. You also have the chat box where you can exchange messages with the student. This eClassroom interface that you see is different from the interface of the student because as a tutor, all the options will be available on your side, such as the annotation. This option, you can use this to highlight anywhere on screen. The whiteboard. This is helpful for both students and tutors as you can use this for drawing and solving mathematical problems. Start webcam. This is optional. You can either choose to use it or not. You also have the option to start large HD view via webcam. And lastly, the file transfer. This option will allow you to send files if ever you have prepared such documents or maybe sample photos that you may want to share with your student. Now the primary options. The play and pause option. Once a student joins class, he or she can automatically see what's on your desktop. You can use this option to pause if you don't want to see a part of your desktop or play when you're presenting something. The screen box with a drop-down arrow. This option is inclined with the pause play option. You can select which would you like the student to see on your desktop. The give control. This option grants keyboard and access to your student. You can access the student desktop if it's needed. In order to do that, first you must change presenter to student and the student must accept your request. Then student must give you control in order for you to change or make instructions on her desktop. The next one is of course the change presenter. All the features a tutor's eClassroom interface have can also give to the student. Students can use whiteboard, annotation, webcam, and send you files as well. And the last one is the record button. The main purpose of this option is for students, so they can review the class and lesson afterwards. You may also use this for your own future reference. Lastly, all the functions of the eClassroom can be viewed on our website every time. You just need to scroll down under Company eClassroom. And just a reminder, if you have eClassroom installed on your desktop, you may must always refer to the new eClassroom installation every time you join a class and never use the one on your desktop.